Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Loses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us enough. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Leave us. I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> yes, you remember him. He found you more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You followed the hobbit's trace all the way east to the lonely mountain. But then you stop and turn south. Why? Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dream. Not listening. So, once again, what is your name? Beagle. Very well. Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning.
Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. You mustn't ask. Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. It's a long jump again, my precious. Come, he has done it many times. <clears throat> All the same, sweet one. Just names in a stupid song. Yeah. 
to the towers, the heart precious, my birthday present. It came to me on my birthday. So I heard. Ox couldn't see us. No one could see us. Not even nasty wizards. How did you find it? Your precious. <laughs> nasty light. Smeagol wants to sleep. He cannot sleep now. But I shall dim the light. She helps us now, the great spider, perhaps. We both are beasts to eat, yes, and crunchy oxies, but she doesn't like them much. <laughs> no nice friend was he, precious. <laughs> Not tricksing us now, is he? Hmm? No, no, not anymore. And if she's not happy, what does she do then, my love? Wraps us all up like spindles. No, not for her tunnels, not yet. Must bring her nice servings and oxes. So you never left that cave? Never. And no one ever saw you? No. Lady doesn't care too much for our sweet flesh and bones. Isn't that Uthak? It is Uthak. It's a pretty new silk. 
What's the plan of that? I'll skip the night shift. <laughs> And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? <laughs> there it is, the spy. Two of them. Two little croaks. Just reporting. The boys will know what to do. They will tell him. He will know. And it's two of them. Follow, but quiet. Stay in the shadows. What about the bird? Forget birds. I'm telling you, it was that little one. She lost spider bread. I haven't seen it for years. I hope her ladyship had sucked it dry. Yeah, shouldn't report it. It's always the trouble. Then they send their blood out, and that's never fun. Torture marks on your hands. <laughs> ah, 
she could help us. Something's brewing. Even the Shriekers are out and flying. Those screams, you makes your skin crawl. Yes, the spider could help. First, lure them into her webs, and then... War, that's what's brewing. Folks eye up are getting tense. <laughs> Eat it! Don't let it tell on us! Beetle wants us no harm, does it? Could be a spy. It could be. Beetle just wants to eat pollen, perhaps. Hmm. Pollen? Hmm. Yes, it hasn't been following us, has it? It likes us. Look! Look!
Tak.
They brought you to him, didn't they? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nask. The ring. Nask. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. I swear. I swear. It's a number four. Lay down. 